What is up, everybody? It's your boy Johnny the Greatest, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Breakers video. In this video, I have five tips and tricks to help you get better as a survivor in Dragon Ball Breakers. Make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new, and we're gonna get right on in to the tips. Tip number one, be vigilant. I feel like this is self-explanatory, but at the same time, it's not. Be vigilant doesn't necessarily be sneaky or doesn't necessarily mean, uh, you know, hide all the time. It means move with the quickness, move with the swiftness, but also do all of those things I said before. So what I mean by that is stuff like hiding or when you're going around the map, make sure you're traveling around the outskirts of the map. The, the trick with the raider is to try to treat them like you're the storm in a battle royale. You're supposed to be closing in on him towards the middle. Now, when you're moving and when you're at the starting of the game, you need to be moving left. I don't know why, this is just my preference. If you think that you can move right, go fine. But me, I always move to my left and I rotate a complete circle around. Now, there's instances where you have to reverse and we'll talk about those later. But just for tip number one, just be vigilant. Just hide when you need to. Don't stay there too long. When you, when you see an opening, take it, get it, get out of there. Take your opportunity. When you see, um, you know, your teammates kind of like in the way and stuff like that, make sure you're directing them towards where you're going and stuff like that. Just, just be vigilant, be, be, be cautious, all right? Tip number two, move behind the Raider. Okay, what I mean, when I say this, I don't mean move behind the Raider as in like get behind the Raider and move him. When you're moving around the map, as I said, like around the outskirts, you're gonna wanna stay where the Raider is not facing you. So what I mean by that is to, if the Raider's in the center of the map, you need to be looking at the Raider at all times. Meaning, he, everywhere he turns, you need to be seeing if he's there. Of course, you're not gonna be seeing it the entire game. But you need to be on notice of where he is the entire time. Part of the reason you stay on the outskirts is so that you have that back area. He's not gonna be all the way in the back. No Raider is going to go all the way in the back. So if you stay in the outskirts and cl uh, cautiously close in as you're looking for your keys, when you get your keys, go right back to the outskirts. Literally, stay on the outskirts. <laughs> So that's tip number two. Just make sure you, the, the Raider is in front of you in some way that you can see him, but he cannot see you. Tip number three, open all loot boxes and rescue as many survivors. Yo, rescue as many of those people as possible. Two reasons and a few reasons why. When you're rescuing these people, you get a lot of, um, you know, spirit points and, and stuff like that. You get a lot of level ups. But when you rescue them, you get power samples. Those, those power um, charge changes help you a lot because when you're in the um, mode where you actually, when you're in the end game, you actually have to get out with the time machine. That's the defense part. You have to have something to defend yourself. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm not using a rocket and no dang bullet or sh gun that only shoots boxes. I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. You have, make sure you're rescuing everybody and looting all of those boxes so that you can get those change power up so that the, as in the end game, you have enough power up to even get to level one, two or three to defend and be able to um, get that time machine out of there. So that's tip number three. Tip number four, if caught, do not fight, okay? I understand this is Dragon Ball. I understand we all wanna fight everything, but guys, do not fight. Stun and run, that's my thing, okay? Stun and run. What you need to do in this situation, the only time, there's two reasons you need to fight. When you see your teammates about to enter a key, and the, and the Raider is about to stop them, that's when you need to put it on yourself, take it upon yourself, if you have the power, go in there and charge at him and distract yourself. If you end up dying, again, I have tips and tricks on how to move better in separate videos, but if you end up dying, just take that fall. Do not let them get, get every key counts, every key counts. So, do not fight stun and run. What you need to do is use your change or find some way to stun them and run, use your mobility items to get away from the scene and hit the outskirts as fast as possible. Get under something, get under a rock or something. That's when you start hiding. Please do not fight, stun and run. Now, if you are in a 3v1 situation, okay, I would say put your powers together and jump them, but that, that's, that's rare, that's rare. Tip number five, at the end of the game, this is like at the end game when you're like, you know, maybe you didn't work out, maybe everything didn't get get to the way you wanted and you still lost. He still destroyed the time machine. Don't leave. Do not leave. At some point, maybe somebody can revive you, but at the end of the game, with all that 
all those four tips that you incorporated will give you a lot of XP. It'll give you a lot of siphon energy. It'll give you a lot of spirit energy and all that stuff you can use in the lobby. So either way, if you do not achieve, this is just to get better. These are just tips just to get better. Some of these may work for some, some of these may work for not, not for all games it may work. Some of these Raiders are comp and this game just dropped, okay? I'm still learning, we're still learning, but these are just my five tips that I helped, that helped me in the game as far as moving around the map and stuff like that. I will get more in depth in terms of mobility items and like movement and stuff like that and like a whole bunch of in-depth things. And I got a weekly challenge video coming up for you guys. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new. Oh, and um, a second thought, I'm going to be doing a video incorporating all of these challenges. Not, I know you've seen clips on the screen, but I'm gonna be actually incorporating all of these um, tips and stuff that I'm doing. I'm gonna take my own advice and I'm gonna put them in the game and I'm gonna show you guys as I'm doing it. So, appreciate you guys for watching. Let's get it.